Countdown is on for the governor to sign off on a Muskegon area casino 12 years in the making. For years now, the Little River Band of Ottawa Indi Indians has been working to put a casino at the old Great Lakes Downs racetrack in Fruitport. The tribe says the governor now has 41 days to act on the final paperwork to move that project forward. News Ace Whitney Burney was at a rally today where tribal leaders were trying to get Whitmer's support. The Little River Band of Ottawa Indians says the paperwork for this casino has been on Governor Whitmer's desk since December 16th of last year. They say it's time to push this project forward. Is the project bringing people from all over Muskegon County together? So when I see an opportunity like this come forward, it's something that I wanted to support because this is going to have a lasting effect on our community um, for 100 years. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle, local unions and tribal leaders joining forces to ask the governor to sign off on a casino that's been in the works for 12 years. We all know that we have a fantastic promotional campaign that we all know and love. But it is not watch us wait, it's watch us go. So, Governor, please help us get this project started and moving and going forward for Muskegon County. The Little River Band of Ottawa Indians plans to put the casino and hotel near Harvey Street in Heil Road in Fruitport Township. It's set to have a near 70,000 square foot gaming floor and 220 hotel rooms. Uh, for our tribe, the project is about self-sufficiency, being able to provide jobs, medical care, education, housing, especially for our elders, mental health care, child care. Prenatal care. But the project also means giving back to the community, bringing up to 3,000 jobs. So this will really be a game changer, not only for the construction community, but for all of those workers uh, in Muskegon County. This will be a large employer that pays well and offers decent benefits. Whitmer now has 41 days to ask the federal government for an extension or sign off on the project. If she doesn't act, tribal leaders say the project is dead in the water. They say sign it. And we don't invest this kind of money in every project. This one was well worth it. We've invested millions of dollars upon the 12 years, so uh, this means a lot to us. We reached out to the governor's office to see if and when she will sign those documents we haven't heard back. Reporting here in Fruitport, Whitney Burney, News 8.